Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Garala. Our harvest continues unabated. I'm going to do this small field here, which is only going to be a couple times up and down the field. And I'm not going to go over and do that one yet. I was actually thinking, as soon as I've done this little one here, I'm going to scoot on it down over there next to where that case is and start working on the bigger fields over there. And then I can sort of work back up round and head towards the big field across the road here. At least that's the plan. So today, once we've done a little bit here on this field, I just want to see it up past the road here to make sure it doesn't get stuck on any incoming traffic. We're going to run up to the dealership up the road up there and we're going to get ourselves a shiny new combine on hire. And we're going to run that one all the way down the road here into the big wheat field over there. And we're also going to get a T9 articulated New Holland tractor and one of those great big trailers that is behind the case over there i can't remember what it's called um the, is it the terror the, 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 I, you, I've, I've got no idea i've got absolutely no idea one of those big trailers that's what we're going to go and get and then we can run that one back as well and we'll use that one for ferrying the wheat from the second combine and then this one here will hopefully just be able to carry on the other combine is going to fill up quite a little bit faster than this one will. All right, this one seems to be doing just fine. It's gotten past the road without any issues whatsoever. And I hope it's not going to try to cross over and go into that field there. Sometimes it does. It does get a little bit confused, but it seems to be all right this time. Okay, that one could carry on there and we will head up the road. So let's go on to here and i'm so looking forward to getting sugarcane i really am I, I just i'm like it's like christmas it really is not quite the level of excitement that you get when you when we're waiting for fs17 to come out that that the level of excitement for that was quite a bit higher uh, but there is still a lot of excitement here it's this one that i want and once we have got that one out, once once it's here, obviously, there will be a few more DLCs, I would imagine, before the end of everything. Uh, we're going to go for very big. We'll take that one. And this time we're going to go optional headlamp cabin. Um, I'm not going to chance things with extra bits because I did. someone did say that there's some issues with his pack um, with some, some bigger stuff. So we will go for the 780. Uh, front loader attacher with logo. No, we'll leave that. Um, wheel setup standard. Uh, 30k. I don't know with wheel brakes. Is that? I, I'm not sure. Uh, Terra tracks. Uh, we got Terra track on the other one, haven't we? So we'll go. Let's go wired wide tires on this one. The pipe. We're going to go 7xl. We're going to go for the longest pipe that we've got, and then we, so we'll do it like that. And we're going to lease this one. Yep. And we come back out of there, and then we move sideways into the headers and right so we've got the 1230 the 1050 and they yeah they drop downwards so we want 1230 which is the same one that we've already got oh no it's not oh we've got the 1050 we're going to go for the 1230 for this next combine so we'll select that one and stalk splitter rape knives do we want that actually we'll um no we just want the stalk splitter it's rape knives we want on the other one and one laser pilot you can have two laser pilots so you've got one on each side We'll go for that this time, I think, and long stalk or short stalk splitter. We go for the long stalk one and attaches ten attaches. What's what are the attaches for? Okay, I've got no idea what those are, but I'm going to get ten of them just, and we'll see what they do. And release that one as well. There we go. Back, and I want to go. So, oh no, it's not sideways. I want to go back, and I need to go over here to the header trailers. We do actually have a header trailer over in the ditch somewhere i can't actually remember where it is and it's that one there this one is for the class vario 1230 so if we select that one we'll go main color uh that oh it's that kind of greeny color there isn't it and then the rim color for class is red isn't it this is those two colors together design the 40 kp8 uh yeah 40 kp kilometers per hour kilometers yeah that is kph um lease okay back back and then finally we want the tractor we're going to go for a t9 for this one and where is it there we go the t9 now we can do standard uh twin wheels wheel weights or stand twin wheels twin wheels is going to be too big um i think we'll go for wheel weights because of the enormous weight of the trailer i think that the wheel weights will help and um, we're going to go for the biggest engine that we can get which is 557 horsepower so we get that one lease that one as well back through and back out again and then finally we want the tipper 
which I can't actually remember what it's called. So let's scroll whiz up through here. And there it is, the Vicini Tetra. That is the bad boy that we're after here. So release that one. And that should be everything, I think. There we go. So we've got the T9. Got the header trailer there. We've got this. So what is this? I've got no idea what this uh, the 10. What, what's the 10 for? Um, that bit's... Yeah, I've got absolutely no clue what the attacher is for 10. Um, but let's take this one and we'll get the trailer hitched on and move it. Then we can get the combine out. And we, what we're going to do is we're going to put the combine onto the header trailer. And that one can pull it down the road. At least that's what I'm hoping. So if we just back this one up here and the trailer... Actually, the trailer there is roughly the same height as the tractor this time. So in theory... Oops, no, I didn't want to do that. In theory, this shouldn't actually lift the tractor off the ground very much. And we've also got the wheel weights as well. There we go. Right, so we can move this one off out the way. And... I really do, I like the way that the exhaust pipe is down the front. It's different. It's it's very unique. That is it. That you don't. None of the others have got anything like that. Well, I don't think they have anyway. And I pati I just like the look of it. I think it just looks very cool the way that it's um, set down like that. Although I don't know what it's going to be like when you're in the tractor itself. Surely that's going to allow the fumes from the exhaust to come back towards you rather than putting them up skyward. So yeah, there's the, there is that one aspect of it that I'm not too sure about. So we'll bring this one over and we'll start hitching this one on there. We'll bring that one back round. Yeah, um, FS19. That's a, that's a year away now. We're, we're one year away from FS19. We've got sort of a mini Christmas now with the DLC coming out. And then we've got FS19 coming out this time next year. And that is something that I am really looking forward to now. And, and knowing the sort of... The advances that they've made with each one so far, I mean, you had, um, which way have I got to do this? I'm trying to get this to hitch on. Ah, there we go. Right, it does eventually hitch on. It just takes a while to persuade it to do it, doesn't it? Uh, put that one on. So I don't know what those attachers are. It does, uh, 10 attachers, it said. What are they? Um, go like this, disable straw. No, I don't want to do that. If I go to the front, so we've got... Well, that's the reel, so I'm going to lift the reel up a bit so that it's ready, so it's in the right place. Enable IC, with uh, the combine, um, helper settings. It doesn't seem to do anything in there. I don't really know what that bit is. It, it makes no sense to me. Whether it's a, no a limited number of times you can pick it up, I wouldn't have thought so. That can't be right. Uh, so I've got, I don't know what that is. But yeah, FS19, what do you think we're going to see? I mean, they made some serious advances between FS, well, with each one, there was there was quite a jump forward with each one, like with the graphics quality in particular has jumped forward. I mean, the graphics quality jump between FS15 and FS17 was not quite so significant as the previous versions. And you kind of expect that. The graphics are now sort of getting more and more realistic. So there's only so much you can do with improving the graphics at this point. Um, I mean, yes, there are still improvements that can be made, and no doubt we will see some of those improvements in the next version, but... At the moment, we are we're very we're very close to quite realistic pictures. I've seen people posting pictures of FS17 stuff, and you honestly you can't tell the difference between that and real life pictures. It's it's that close to it now, and that's something I particularly like. So you just lower that there, attach PTO. Yeah, all right. Um, off. I should have just left the PTO on there in the first place. Let's take that one off. Right. Hopefully that will stay on there. Maybe there's something that i got to do up here. Do I, do I go up to it? Let's um, see if there's any options. Uh, no, it just says 10. I'd, I don't know what that is. It, it makes no sense to me. I, there's nothing down here that you've got. Nope. Come over this side. We've got any changes. There's no changes on that um, screen. No, there's nothing. Okay, uh, go on to into here. And I'll get that trailer hooked on, hicked, hicked, hitched onto the back, I should say. And we'll get it down to the other field. Then we can make a start and we can carry on talking. I'm going to bring this one in to the farm up here. We're going on this top track up here. And we will just move that combine over there in just a second and get that one started on the next field. Just stop that for a minute. I shouldn't be going too fast with this one because otherwise I'm going to shake that header off of the trailer. I mean, I don't think you can actually do that, but um, yeah, just just in case. 
we will be very, very careful. That is one improvement that they made. The headers, you could easily shake them off on the last version because they didn't lock to the, to the header trailers, whereas they do now, and that is something that I love. I love the fact that they lock to the header trailers. That is just beyond glorious because it makes such a difference to how things work. And what are you doing? You, should, you shouldn't actually be working. Um, right, if I switch you off, maybe then you'll work. Yeah. For some reason it decided to put the um, AI back in control and then just started up and didn't like it at all. So we've cured that little issue. If I just grab this tiny bit up here, we can then go down through. We'll unload and we will... Um, get started on the bigger field then we can get the other one going on the big field of wheat I'm thinking tomorrow that we will most likely get several more combines set up and we can put like one on several of the different fields and so we've got quite a few of them running at the same time because then obviously we're doing our farm management rather than um, just running the same machines all the time and that was kind of like I said last like I said in yesterday's episode um, that is sort of one of the things that we intended to do originally on this series. It was going to be we were going to be managing lots of vehicles all running at once. Now, how well is this one going to reach on this side? Is it going to get over the top? Yes, it is. Excellent. You can just put that one into there. So that field over there is a fair size. I'm hoping that I can just drop the combine in down on this corner and it will just away up across the field. Um, there's a couple of telegraph poles in the middle, but I don't think they're going to be any particular problems. Um, just bring the map up a minute and see what we've got. We do have that one piece there right in the middle. That is a little bit of an issue, but it should be all right with the combine going around it. It was, uh, even with the seed drills going around it, it managed to cope fairly well with that bit. So I don't see any reason why it's not going to cope with it now. Um, if I bring the combine in this way like this and sort of come in slow like that, it should be all right. When it comes back round again, it shouldn't have any issues sort of uh, running into the right place 1.8 hectares in this field right we can let that one carry on there and we can flick through to our there we go that combine net i'm going to unhitch the header right here and we'll start from this side of the road so if i unhitch that one there jump into the combine again and do our best to get this thing hitched on now it's not very easy to get the headers hitched on actually you've got to um, sort of jump in and out a few times with the manual attaching mod it does actually it doesn't always work very well it's the same with attaching things onto the front of um the on onto the front loaders it, it does it a little bit weirdly okay it did that absolutely perfect i mean it's, it is wanting to put it down in the lower position rather than lifting it up but it still lifted it up without any problem go on to there and i want to do that one so that one's on and then we can unfold oh well, that's all right it, or, it automatically unfolds the header with the um the bits and pieces on it as you lift the combine off as you lift the header off the combine i should say off the header trailer rather now if i bring this one in here i think we have the straw swath already enabled so we should be okay with that i'm going to start it up here on just on this side and i'm going to sweep round into the field that we have left one tiny little bit is probably going to go back and get that in a minute so we'll detect the field running at eight nine ten hectares or 9.95 but yeah 10 hectares in this field that's actually pretty good that's a fair size field that is i don't think we're going to do this with just one combine it's going to take a while we i reckon two combines running in this field alone is going to be needed so we'll let this one carry on he's already at 10 percent, so we've got a good healthy crop in here and while that one is working there, we can run back up here. We can get the T9 and we can go racing up the road with this one. Um, uh, we can go back to our little discussion. Um, what would you like to see in FS19? What, what do you think is most... I mean, what you want to see in FS19 is obviously going to be a little bit different to what uh, you think is actually going to be in the game. And I think that what we actually... Yeah, see... You know what I was talking about with the exhaust fumes and that? That's right in front of the cab. So surely that's going to be... You're going to smell that as you're driving along. And that's going to be coming into the cab. That's, that's going to be causing a problem. Surely. I can't see if that's going to be a good thing like that. Unless there's a way to lift it up into the air, is there? I don't think so. I don't think it unfolds. I think it is just stuck like that permanently. That's a bit of a shame, really. I don't like... I don't like that design. There's something about that that um, it just doesn't feel like it would be any good. 
I mean, it might it might blast the fumes right up above the cab, in which case it'd be okay. But uh, I don't really see it myself. I can't see that it's going to move it high enough. Um, anyway, FS19. What do you think is likely to be in it? And what would you want to be in it? Now, those are two entirely different things. Now, I I want um, a terrain, a deformable terrain to be in the new game. So that you can dig anywhere and place the stuff that you dig up anywhere else on the map. I would like that. They've kind of started that process with the tip anywhere. Now tip anywhere is so he does do that to a certain extent, but it's not foolproof. It doesn't work um completely. Helper F is blocked and yes he will be blocked. He'll be blocked over here on I'm deliberately driving on that little bit of crop there. He's gonna be blocked over there on the corner of this field. So we're gonna go rushing over and catch up with him so that we can help him off of the bank that he has now got himself hopelessly stuck on. Um I think that the deform, because obviously this tip anywhere, that's, that we don't have like separate windrows anymore. It's all done with tip anywhere. Oh, no, he's still going. I thought he'd gotten stuck. It's all done with tip anywhere. And that works really well. It's, it's caused a little bit of lag in places, but overall it works really well. So it's, it's literally just developing that technology a little bit better and it'll keep going. Right, I see what the issue is. There's a great big telegraph pole here. Now, this combine does require maintenance, so it may stop periodically just of its own accord as we're going round, just because we need to take it into the workshop and actually get it repaired. Um, so we might look at doing that soon. Um, so I, I think that we are very likely to see this whole deformable terrain coming into the game because of the um, progress that they've already made with implementing something similar to that. Oh, it doesn't like it. It's going to... Yeah, it's classing it as a separate field. It's not classing it as a separate field. Um, it has done up there by the look of it. No, it hasn't. It's gone into the other field as well over there. It didn't like that at all. So I'm going to have to manually cut this path down through here in order to keep this on one field and then we can go over and do the other field after this. At least I hope it'll work like that on the second time around. We'll have to see. And so with the deformable terrain, in theory, we should be able to dig anything and move it anywhere else. And what that would mean is that like the tracks that go around, rather than having placeable tracks put down, the tracks kind of could get run in by the vehicles passing over them. But then if you wanted to expand a field and we've got like the banks down there near where the T9 is sat at the moment, um, you wouldn't need to, you wouldn't just be limited. You could go along and you could use an excavator or a front loader or something like that. And you could dig away the terrain there and level it out more and then turn it into fields. And that's what I'm hoping to see. And I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably confident that we are actually going to see that in this, in this game. I'm reasonably confident. I'm not 100%, but I am reasonably confident that that could be placed into this game in our next in the next version so that you know like this bank here we could we could level this off now there would be limits to it like where the road is you wouldn't be able to dig up the road i think that would be asking too much um i mean i'd like to see that i'd like to be able to see completely deformable terrain of any height or any and stuff like that but i don't think we'll see that i do think that we will see deformable terrain to a certain extent in places on the map um and then where you've got an area like there's a mountain that's stuck up or something like that I want to be able to dig through the great big hill. Um, in, certainly on like on the map on Sosnyovka, we had these huge great big heaps all over the place. Um, yeah, we're going to have to just drive right through that ditch. But I think this tractor, of any tractor that we've got, is the one that is capable of doing this. He says, getting it hopelessly stuck. <laughs> Maybe if I go fast. If I, if I just try going fast like this. Is that going to do it? Nope. That's just going to get me hopelessly stuck still. I can do this. I know I can do this. It doesn't like it, does it? It absolutely does. It does not like that at all. It'll reverse up. It'll back out just fine. I need to get over onto that railway in order to make this work. And I'm going to get really hopelessly stuck here and not be able to get out at all. If I can sort of come in like that maybe and turn. Nope. Now I'm, I'm not going to be able to move at all. <laughs> I've managed to get the T9 completely and hopelessly stuck. You wouldn't have thought you could do that, would you? Well, 
Okay, most people wouldn't be able to do that. Frithgar, yeah, Frithgar could do that. Frithgar can get anything stuck. It's a matter of personal pride. Um, so let's come around here. We're just going to have to make sure that we don't have any trains coming along here anytime soon. And we should be fine. Um, fortunately, this is a private track and it's not owned by the public, so we, we should be okay with this. Um, and again, the articulated steer. Um, this one is, seems a lot more sensitive than some of them. But if we can let that one go there... He should be able to um, go for Amy. Bring it back over to this side. There we go. Zoom that out. And there is our T9 unloading our Lexian Combine. Looking good. I really like that. that is, that's immensely pleasing to me. The fact that we've at least got it in place and it's working. And the Combine managed to do almost a complete round of the field, didn't it? Oh, no. Uh, okay, so uh, technically it was only about half a round of the field. But it got a fair way round. It did do a fair slice of it before it had to stop, which is actually pretty good, I think. By the time we get over here, um, we'll do probably three rounds, and then I think we'll start it on just working up and down from one side of the field to the other. Maybe it will do okay with that. I'm not quite sure. The only issue with that is that the combine fills up when the spout is on the inside of the field, and you then either got to manually move the combine out to empty it, or you've got to drive your tractor onto the crop, neither of which I particularly like doing. Um, so unless I've got to because I want the straw in straight lines, I do tend to just stick with going round and round. And then you don't have to worry about driving on the crop. It does make life a lot easier. So we'll, le we'll leave this one to carry on here. And we're going to flick through to our other combine in a minute. Actually, this one here, if we just go to here, um, canola's at 72% on that class Lexian over there. So I'm going to... Actually, what is that combine doing now at the moment? Uh, we're going to follow it round and see if it's done anything particularly strange up at this top end of the field. And then we can come back down round and we can get it unloaded. And then we'll tip this bit of grain that we've got in here. We'll tip that into the storage area for now. Come whizzing up through here. So, yeah, oh, it did just, it went into that field a little bit, but it didn't really do very much. The rest of it has actually been okay. It's, um... It cuts right on the inside of the corner as it comes around the pond there, but you kind of expect that with this particular, uh, with the AI vehicle extension. It does it cuts the corners rather than staying on out on the corners. Now, what are you going to do? If I bring you back so that I can get that trailer onto it, he'll stop there and he will unload into the trailer. And then he can carry on and go on with the field. Hopefully I won't be in the way. I'll stay here so that we, we can see if we're in the way. And then we can go back over to the other combine and see how that one's doing. We need to get our T9 out of that ditch next. That's going to be the next big task. Um, Help J is blocked by an object. That's not very good. We go through. Where are you? Ah. The first one of these. Now, this one is a, it's just going to be the once that it's going to get stuck on this one. And then there's a couple more in the middle of the field, but we're not going to have to worry about those for quite a while. So we can bring you round. Let you carry on. Um... Other than the deformable terrain, that I'm going to be surprised if we don't have, to be honest. And I, I mean, the whole, like, where you've got the mountain. You know, in Sosnyovka, next to where the pigs were, we had that great big mound that was covered with rocks and trees and everything else. I would, I'm, I'm hoping that we would be able to, like, move rocks and dig up rocks like that there and move them and get them out of the way and be able to sort of continue on like that I think that would, it would be absolutely awesome if we do have that but again I'm not confident that we would be able to do that I think the deformable terrain will be there but it's going to be somewhat limited now if you could go and move rocks like dig off a great big hill so that you can expand something out or instead you could give yourself a uh, make an extra road or something like that make an extra track going through something um, and you know fill up ditches Anything like that. I think that would all be absolutely fantastic things to be able to do. Uh, but I don't know how much of it will be actually possible this time around. I, I mean, I do believe that we will eventually get it. However many issues it takes, it might take another two or three times. It might be um, FS23 before we get fully deformable terrain where we can literally move anything we want to any place we want. Um, so I don't think it's going to happen straight away, but it will eventually happen that we can just dig up anything and move it anywhere. We could also demolish buildings. Another thing I would like to see, and I don't see any reason why we couldn't have it, is the construction of barns. Rather than just plonk them down as a placeable, just instantly slam onto the ground, 
the actual there's an actual construction process you have to go through you have to physically level the site that you want to put it on and you have to go and get the materials and you bring it to there you you bet you you buy like a blueprint for the barn that you want to put so like that one over there we'd buy a blueprint for that barn then we would have to go and get blocks and we'd have to get timber and we'd have to get the roofing materials and we'd have to bring it all back to the same location and then initiate the the build and the building process would be like a couple of different stages or three or four different stages that would take a, a x amount of time for each one i would love to see that in here why have you stopped oh i know why you've stopped it's because the combine is um old and it well it's not because it's old it's because it's in need of maintenance and you've got to be at a maintenance place and i don't think we've got a garage here at this farm which is a little bit of a nuisance because it means that the combine's going to periodically just stop moving um keep that one going there if i just h that one there and we can go through get our t9 and try to get out of this ditch it's gonna be the next thing so we've got to go back round and we've got to meet our combine because it has filled up now if I get a bit of speed going, can I get across here and get up onto there? Nope. It's absolutely not liking this at all, is it? Um, well, at least I'm not completely and hopelessly stuck. There we go. If I, uh, I can sort of wiggle it round a little bit. We're just going to have to come down to the end here. And then we go back up round. And I'm hoping that we are actually in a position now where we've gone one full rotation around the field which means it'll, yes we have that's brilliant so we can come up through here i'm going to try this from in cab because this one is a bit different doing this one from in cab it feels it's the, the experience of driving it is a little bit different to most of the tractors um it's still a little bit weird i don't particularly like in cab driving but i did say i would do a little bit more because there are quite a few people who would like to see it occasionally so we will try to add in a little bit of in cab driving every now and then i think that's enough and let's move back under here we didn't need the 7xl pipe did we that one was just a little bit excessive i think we should have just gone with um like a, a 3xl or something like that it would have been a fair bit shorter um what else do you think we're gonna see now another thing that i'm fairly confident we're gonna see at the moment we've got pigs we've got sheep and we've got cows now chickens you don't have the option to buy them anymore uh you just have chickens on the map those four animals will be back there's no doubt about that they will be back i don't know if we'll get more animals we might get a variation on the cattle where we get a beef fattening unit now i could see that being instigated so you got like you've got a beef fattening unit so that you can sell some beef animals and you can have cattle you can have dairy cattle as well so i think that we'll end up with both of those options i don't think if i press b what's it going to do it doesn't actually do anything it's just that you've got to have the pto on it because that powers the um the tip on it so it doesn't actually like give you an extra option for it you just stop there i'll let that i'll let the combine carry on from there and we're going to go and empty the other tractor um so yeah if you've got um a beef unit as well so we can um have beef cattle on our map i could see that being introduced i don't know if it will but it's certainly something that i would like to see i'd also like to see um a bigger poultry farm so we you know there's another aspect of farming there that they haven't done yet and a few people have put them in with mods i know there were definitely poultry added in fs15 whether it was added into fs17 or not i'm not sure but there are various different animal mods that have been added to the game at various points so i'd like to see that added in as part of the base game definitely want to see more crops and more options um just like more root crops you've got carrots uh, onions um things like i mean personally i absolutely hate onions i really detest the taste of onions they're absolutely awful i can't stand them i don't like it in any cooking do you know what it's like trying to go out to a restaurant and get food without onions in it it's nigh on impossible and when you ask for it they look at you like you just spat on the waiters it's yeah it's um for those of us who don't like onions it's a tough life it really is it's a very very tough life and you, you don't know the struggle that we go through on a daily basis <laughs> but anyway um so yeah i mean having onions on the map would be good so that i could like grow a huge field of onions and then um take out a large manure spreader and spread manure all over them and then plow them all in that's what i'd like to do to my field of onions and i probably would if, if i get i'm gonna do that on broad acres actually i think i'm gonna go and spread manure all over the onions and then plow them in without harvesting them 
stop anybody from having that. I'll teach you for trying to serve me onions in a restaurant and telling me that I can't have a dish without onions. I want a dish without onions. I don't like them. Let, let me have my dish without onions. This means a lot to me. Yes, I do have issues. I'll admit it. There, you happy? Right, anyway. Um, but other crops, like so, so some root crops and things like that, and then some things like some herb production, like parsley, lavender. Though the types of harvesters that are used for harvesting parsley and lavender and um, some other ones as well, they, they're very interesting, they're very different looking harvesters as well. They're, they're quite unique in their style. Maybe um, vining peas as well. So you have to have a pea viner and harvest fresh peas. They've got to be, you can't store fresh peas. You, you absolutely can't. You harvest them to order. So you get the fresh peas. You've got to take them straight to the tail point and you've got a limited time to do it as well. Um, most pea viners they only work at night you can only harvest peas at night because if you try to harvest them during the day they actually they're, they're very poor quality you don't get decent quality peas if you harvest them during the day so you'd actually have a crop where you get a penalty for harvesting them during the day you have to harvest them at night time that is something i would particularly love to see i think that would be a really amazing detail i'm not aware of very many crops that you've got to do that with i know that you do with um fresh peas and i think sugar beet to a certain extent is also better when harvested by night rather than by day because of the whole temperature thing. Um, beyond that, I'm not really sure if there is any. Uh, right, that other combine is finished, so we'll let... Actually, I'll tell you what, let's just run up alongside this one and just empty out this little bit now. Um, my mouse is very weird at the moment. I have an issue with my mouse. Um, in When I scroll the wheel, it, it sometimes goes the wrong way, but apparently it's a known issue with these types of mice, so I may end up having to buy a new one, which is a bit of a nuisance. Um... So, yeah, we'll, we'll watch this space. Maybe it'll cure itself. Sometimes it does, apparently. You just keep using it, and it just kind of cures itself. You don't have to worry about it. Um, let's go through to our other combine. Oh, it's not finished at all. It's just gotten stuck again. And bring that one back out a little bit. I think we might have to manually finish this field off. It's getting to, the, it's getting to that point where we have to manually nurse quite a bit of it. We are approaching the end of the episode now. So, um, yeah, today I would very much like to see what you think we might get in FS19 and what you think we will get in FS19. Um, and, well, what you think that we will, what you think we might, you know, the, sort of those two, and what would you like to see but you think is highly unlikely this time around at least. So that, that's some of the thoughts on the things that I like. Definitely want more crops. Oh, and like adding oats rye triticale and i know that they're not as popular as a lot of others but i mean oats is everybody loads of people grow oats and so yeah some more variation on the crops would be fantastic um i love the fact that you're not bound to grow only one crop in this game if you want to maximize profits there is no one crop that is more profitable than any of the others a lot of people have done up tables and so on some of them have got a slight edge but because the variation in prices in that you can make a decent profit on just about any crop the only one that you don't really make much of a profit on well, as much as the others is corn if you combine it, um, unless you're putting it through the pigs. If you put it through the pigs, it ends up becoming profitable anyway. Um, but no, if you take corn and you silage it, then you make a decent bit of money as well. So they did a good job of balancing the various different jobs, I felt, with this particular version. Um, and I'd like to see that again, but I would definitely want to see a lot more crops. I want to see a lot more cereals. Um, so that we've got a lot more choices so that every farm you go to is not the same. And I want to see more straw as well. Um, oats would definitely... You definitely have straw from the oats. And I would love to see the option where you can bale up the... If you combine... Um, and not this, not, not the canola. But if you combine um, corn and also uh, soybeans, I'd like to have the option to leave the straw on the ground. Because some animals do actually eat that stuff. I mean, certainly the straw from the, um, from the beans... Um, donkeys will eat that and they grow nice and fat on it as well and we used to feed our donkeys that um, pea straw as well I'd like to see uh, dried peas being done and there's all kinds of issues with dried peas you've got to constantly repair knives with dried peas because you've got to run the combine really tight into the ground um, and that's an added challenge that could be put in as well um, another sort of round of fun that could be had with it all let's detect this field and get that one going Okay, we'll leave that one there, and he can carry on through that way. And where is our case? Did I bring that one out? I did, didn't I? Oh, that one's up there. Yeah, he can stay there for a minute. I want to go back through to this one, and we're going to run round 
and catch our combine. We'll catch him in a second and then we can get one more load and we'll take this one up to the farm and get it unloaded. So we've only done two rounds on this field. We definitely want to get a few more combines going for the next episode, I think. Um, but it does look like we'll spend the rest of us this series combining. Uh, we've got two more episodes, as far as I know. And then Tuesday next week, we've got the new DLC. We're moving to the new map. It's going to be so much fun. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be great. Um, oh, the save game for this particular um, playthrough. Unfortunately, I will not be able to release the save game. I have tried several times to update Garala to the latest version that is available on mod hub it's not working it's giving me major conflicts i cannot load the game at all i've tried it with no mods it's not working at all something on here it really doesn't like it so i don't know what it is it might be i've got to remove every single mod from my mod folder um in order to get it to work but I, i'm not really sure at the moment and i've just not been able to get it to work at all so um if i, I will try again but it looks like at the moment i'm not going to be able to release this one i am in the process of trying to get you the texas upload because a lot of people are wanting that one they want to carry on with the um the unrealistic playthrough that we did however at the moment i can't get it to actually upload onto fs uk i will try a couple more days on that if i can't do it i'll see if i can put it on mod hoster or something like that um and i will do my absolute best to get it uploaded and get you guys a link for it so that you can go and play it yourself because quite a few people have said that they would really like to have a go on there and if I just bring this one round, ooh. it's very, very heavy, this trailer. And the way that the articulated steering works, just try to pull the trailer sideways, which is making the tractor struggle quite a bit. Nope, now we're doing it. We're away now. Let me bring this one up through here, and we're just we're going to head straight up across the fields up that way. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. I am almost out of time, as you can tell. Um, let's bring this one up around here. Anything else you want to see from FS19? Anything in particular? Is there something that I haven't mentioned? I mean, I really like the idea of like having to build the structures and that, but I really can't see that happening. It's kind of like, you know, almost like um, introducing Construction Simulator into this game. But personally, I just absolutely, I cannot see that happening this time around. Um, maybe in another couple of iterations of the game it would happen, but I, I really don't see it anything like that doing this time through. Um, but that would be absolutely fantastic. I'd love to be able to do that. And, and you know, even you build your own farmhouse. You start off with like a really, I know that's actually another farming game has actually done that now, haven't they? You start off with a rundown farmhouse and you just sort of go from there building it up. That would be brilliant. Right, there is our trailer all tipped up and emptied out and into storage. So we currently have, uh, press escape, and there we go. So we've currently got 54,000 litres of barley, of wheat, 59 of, uh, of barley, and 89 of canola. So we will try to sell a little bit of this next week. And in tomorrow's episode, I'm going to try and get several more combines running in here um, alongside these two that we've got here at the moment so that we can get a much bigger chunk of our fields all harvested. Uh, but until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.